Hey, it's Dan Franklin. I'm here with Johnny K, and we're here checking out the Cathedral Pipes microphone booth at NAMM 2014. We're down in Hall E, and we're at booth number 1647, checking out their new FET mic, the St. Jean-Baptiste. What do you know about this, Johnny? Well, it's basically a FET 47, but the great thing about this is it's all made in America. The capsule, everything. Circuitry, the whole thing. You got to hear it. And it comes with an OCC copper cable that they made specially for the microphone itself. Oh, are you, you're pulling it in? You, that, that's it right there. So I'll tell you, I'm pretty stoked about this microphone because if you're traveling around, like we're always traveling around doing stuff, you get to hear an amazing microphone that's easy to carry around and it sounds awesome. You haven't heard it yet though, right? No, but I've heard a lot of other Cathedral Pipes mics and uh, the last time I borrowed one for a session, it didn't leave the studio. Tell I us, had to buy it. Tell us a little bit about that. So you bought one of the Notre Dames, basically? Well, yeah, it's, it's basically a Notre Dame. It was one of the early ones, and they had done some different things to it. It's a kind of an experiment mic. But I was working with an artist named Danny Carey. She's fantastic. DannyCarey.com. And uh, it sounded so good, and I didn't have to do anything to it on, on in post. It was just right there. It just totally blew my mind. And the album is called Back to the Water, and you can go check out the, the sound of the mic for yourself. Well, I definitely will. Have you seen these new power supplies? That's the other thing that I'm pretty stoked about here at the Cathedral Pipes booth, is the power supplies themselves are pretty amazing. It's got this switch on it that you can actually go from Omni to Cardio to Figure 8. Pretty amazing. And inside it's got an LED, which is kind of their Cathedral Pipes. Of course it does. It's their thing. But um, if you notice, all, this, all the knobs are made out of aluminum, which is pretty neat. And I'll tell you, I, I kind of freaked out on that toggle switch. That's pretty amazing, too. You can turn well, it off as, and off. As you can tell, I'm, I'm sort of a, I'm, I'm all about military antiquity. So for me, that has a very cool vintage look to it. Um, and the LED thing is interesting because everybody I talk to about Cathedral Pipes, when I, when I tell them that it has the LED or whatever, they, or they've heard of it, they're like, hey, you know, why doesn't it buzz? You know, and I... I think Chuck can probably answer that question for us. I think he could too, but it doesn't buzz and it sounds absolutely fantastic. What I've noticed about the whole LED thing is some engineers are kind of like skeptical, but once they stick it up in front of an artist, they perform better. So that kind of trips me out. But anyways, you got to check it out. The big thing that I'm freaking out the most about is the Fed. So check that out, cathedralpipes.com or booth 1647 Hall E at NAM 2014. See you guys later. All by myself in the morning, all by myself in the night, I sit alone with a table and a chair, so unhappy there, playing solitaire. I get all by myself, and I get so lonely, watching the clock on the shelf. I'd love to rest my weary head on somebody's shoulder I hate to grow older all by myself